Logsec has this cool plugin called as bullet threading. It adds bullet threading to active blocks in Logsec. If you are missing this feature in Obsidian or you want to use bullet threading feature in Obsidian, this video is for you. Hi everyone, I am Prakash Joshi. Welcome back to another awesome video on Obsidian. In this video, I will provide a solution which will allow you to have the same connection that is in the Logsec app for bullets. And not just for bullets, but also for outlines. It will be helpful if you work with a lot of bullets and in for people thinking, is it only for aesthetic purpose? Yes, it is. It is for aesthetic purpose only if you work with smaller outlines. But as the size of outline increases, the utility of this feature increases dramatically. It helps you to stay on track when you are working with larger outlines and many indentation levels, you will never get lost. You can easily see what is indented under what. And this is what you will be able to achieve by the end of this video. This is an example node that I have created uh, with a lot of bullets and you can see here bullet threading. And here is the outline of this node where I have just added headings and the threading works here as well. So let's dive in this video and learn how we can achieve this bullet threading feature in Obsidian. But before we begin a video, I want to say, if you want to support me, then you can do so by the Patreon link, which I'll be giving in the description. And you will get a lot of benefits by being a Patreon member, which you can find through the Patreon link in the description. Now let's not delay the tutorial. I will go to another world where I have not enabled that feature. I don't have that feature. Here is the same note that I added over here. And you can see there is no blood threading. So how do you achieve this? For that, you will need to add a CSS snippet. To add a CSS snippet, you know how to do it. First go to settings, go to appearance, scroll down, and you can see here CSS snippets. Click on this folder icon, and this will open the CSS snippets folder inside your file explorer. Here we can see we are inside the snippet folder. Now we will need to create a new note over here. That is a text document and the file extension is CSS and we'll name it bullet threading. Yes. Now let's open this CSS file. I'm using a text editor over here that is sublime. You can use any other tools as well such as VS code or any other tool that supports CSS file. Now the first thing we'll do is learn how to get bullet threadings in our outlines. So here is a link to a post in Obsidian forum where bullet threading is created for outline. We'll go down, copy this snippet from here, copy it and paste it inside the file, bullet threading file that you created and open with a text editor. I'll paste it here and I'll save it. If I go to Obsidian world, go to settings, go to appearance and sorts over here, I'll click on reload enable this and here we have got bullet threading for our outlines pretty easy right and there is nothing that is changed in our bullets only our outlines have changed now how do we achieve the same bullet threading that we have in our outlines in our bullets too for that i will provide another link which will help us achieve that that is a link to discord where you will see this is a css snippet for bullet threading shared by virals good i'll copy this and I will add it in the same file that we created previously. And I'll just write here threading for bullets so that we can easily identify the changes. Now I'll paste it here and let me save it. Now if I go back to Obsidian Vault and if I hover over the bullets, you can see we have got bullet threading on our bullets too. But this will only work when you are in reading mode. If I go to editing mode, here I am in editing mode and it will not work in editing mode. If I change it to reading view, it will show the bullet threads. But if I go to editing mode in live preview, then it will not work. Now, how do you make it work for live preview as well? For that, I will provide another link, which is also a link for Obsidian forum, where a user has shared what he has created. A user, MXI has shared what he has created. And you can see this is the example i'll click on this link and here are some codes there are two codes first is for bullet list live preview highlight css and second is for bullet list live preview threading css now if you don't want all the hassle if you don't want to compile all the code i also have a obsidian 
CSS snippet vault that I have created where I have compiled all the CSS snippets, all the useful CSS snippets for Obsidian. You can download it from the link in the description as well. And if you are on my Patreon, then you will get the uh, vault for free as well. Not just that vault, you will get every uh, vault build in future as well for free. So let's copy this first one, bullet list live preview highlight. Let me copy it and, and I'll paste it here. And if I click on say, let me open the vault first on this side. And if I click on save, you can see here the bullets will be highlighted. Here is what it will look like. And I don't feel it easy on my eyes because bullet threading is better than this. So we'll not use this. We'll copy the snippet, second snippet, which is here. Bullet list live preview threading CSS. I'll just copy it from here and paste it right here. Click on save. And here we have got bullet threading feature in our obsidian vault. Pretty cool. Now I want to add a little more thickness to these threads and I don't know a lot about CSS but I just did some research and found a way to do that. For that I need to change the guideline width. First let's do that for outline. I'll go down here and here you can see border bottom variable outline guideline width. I'll change it to 3 pixel and I'll save it. I'll change it to 3 pixel over here as well. Save it. And you can see it the thickness has changed a little over here let me change it to 4 to see whether it changes or not i'll save it and you can see the width has increased i don't want to use the 4 pixel size let me just let it be 3 3 pixel i also want to change the width for bullet threads not only outline threads so i go down here is threading for bullets here i will write 3 pixels 3 pixel i don't know a lot about css okay I just know where I need to change the values for changing the width. So I'll click save, control S, and it's not working here. I think it's because we are changing this for reading view. Let me go to reading view, and you can see the size has changed to 3 pixel. Let me go down and change it for editing mode as well. Here is border bottom and border left. I'll change it to 3 pixels for both of these. 3 pixel, control S and you can see it has increased and these colors will change on the basis of theme you are using but you can also customize the colors from the css snippets as well if you are good at css now let me go back to my original world where it works perfectly with the theme that i'm using that is anuk pokim theme second brain and it's working perfectly over here if you don't want to do all of this copy and paste and edit the css snippet then i have compile this along with other CSS snippets as well. So you can download the Obsidian CSS vault uh, directly from the link in the description where you can check out more custom CSS for Obsidian as well. So this was a simple tutorial on how you can add bullet threadings to Obsidian. How you can uh, use this feature in Obsidian with the help of CSS snippets. I hope you found this video useful and helpful if you found this video helpful please don't forget to like the video because it will help to boost the video as well as it helps to keep my motivation high for creating videos like this uh, that will help the community that's all for this video i hope you have a great time have a nice day bye bye